Hello and welcome everyone. I am your host Gamora and we are doing a brand new series today. We're doing Bayonetta 3. This is what we've been working on for the past week and a half, two weeks, to uh, get out those uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 Let's Plays uh, in preparation for this one. So if you want to catch up on the story, you can go check out the, the Bayonetta 1 and 2 Let's Play uh, series. They're complete on YouTube, Rumble, Bitch Shoot, or Odyssey. So be sure to check those out. And if you are a fan of them, don't forget to show your support. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, let's just enjoy Bayonetta 3. Now I have it. Bayonetta. I, I have to go back, actually. Look at that beautiful, uh, I guess, still image of Gamora that's kind of moving around. That's, that's where I got the name of the channel from. This beautiful dragon here. Um, I wonder if he plays a big part. In this game now I, I guess i should mention what i've seen i saw the original announcement trailer like in 2017 2018 and i saw the the trailer at the nintendo direct like a couple months ago and that's pretty much it i didn't even start the game to get the sound right i pretty much just uh i guess i used these here to try to get it as close as possible Seemed like the default was good enough, so hopefully that's good. We're going to keep pretty much everything the same. What do we got? We got... I guess I'll just go through these really quick. We just got normal controls. I guess we won't mess with the camera or the controls until we actually start playing. Oh, there was this that I wanted to show people. I'll get the subtitles on right. I wanted to show people this. I think it's funny. Naive Angel Mode. Turn this function on to change some of the in-game depictions. Violence, gore, and exposure will be reduced. Can't even have Rodan smoking a cigar. He's he's smoking a candy, I guess. I don't know what else that could be. Naive Angel Mode can only be set for the main menu or the chapter select screen option menu. Alright, so I guess this game is in chapters still. I guess I wasn't expecting anything different. Alright, and with that, there's really nothing else to, uh, to do. Let's go with the story. Now, let's see. Casual. A difficulty for those simply looking to enjoy the story. Scores won't be uploaded to ranking. Standard. A difficult a difficulty for those who enjoy thrilling battles, expert. A difficulty for veterans of hardcore action looking to show off their skills. Now, the way I usually do my let's plays, I usually do them on normal or standard, whatever it is. Um, but I'm I'm feeling a little ballsy today, so I think we'll go for expert. I'm hoping this is not the most diff I hope there's like another difficulty option after we beat the game. Because if this is as hard as it gets, we're going to have a hard time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Infinite Climax and Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1. It's not easy. So, hopefully that won't be a mistake. We're definitely not turning off the graphics, though. Oh, no. Okay, so, allows the game to be played in its original state with no alteration. Lightened depictions of violence, gore, and exposure. Or game content is unchanged. I just wanted to see if they were if they were gonna make a crack at people for picking that option. Usually I have trouble seeing stuff, so I'll do a tiny I usually do a tiny bit on the brightness. I have a hard time seeing dark stuff sometimes. This game uses autosave. Please do not turn off power or end the game while the saving icon is displayed. All right, let's go. Cutscene time. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been excited for a game this much since when Final Fantasy kid, VII. My father used to tell me something. The remake. There are no forks in the road of life. You just walk along, feeling your way through the grass and leaving a faint path behind. 
But if you turn around to look, you may get the strange feeling you've walked that path before. Or that someone was walking along with you, lending you the strength to press on. In universes of light, dark, and chaos intertwined in untold layers. I'd always believed there was only one truth, but... What if some other version of me, on a distant world, was searching for all possibilities? This must be the new character, since I don't recognize her voice. Oh, this is the... This is the and what if... Revealed when all trail. the possibilities were overlaid, the path that stood out the clearest was the real truth. At least part of it was. This is Bayonetta 1. At least the design. Kind of interesting. I the way they take this design. The prequel? Monster battles. I do remember that from the, the, the Nintendo Direct cutscene. Oh, she looks different than the Dan out of one now. Some control, but I can't really do anything because I move back and forth. I barely understood what you said, but for some reason, I'll see how this goes. Really resonated with me. And every time I thought about it, I looked up at the sky and daydreamed. What if somewhere, some version of me was walking along through the grass just like me? Could we be following the same path, taking the same journey? That idea had its hooks in me more powerfully than any anime or sci-fi novel. And even after growing up, I still believed it could be true. I just knew that someday, a version of my father from some other world would appear. Pull out a strawberry can just for me, always used to. But the visitor from another world that appeared to me was a nightmare that had come to crush all hope like blades of grass beneath his heel. I wonder if we're gonna get a. Uh, we're gonna be able to use all the sun like that. It's gonna get near him. It doesn't seem like we have any HP bars, so it's probably fine. We got one witch time. Oh, 
actually remember if there was any blood on the angels in Bayonetta 1 and 2. What's wrong? Having trouble running the numbers? Yes. Ah. I gotta run away. Don't come for me. Oh, just yet. I'll be the one who decides what the truth will be. Looks like her soul is cracked. I don't know who all that is. Maybe Luca? You have a job to do, soldier. Definitely not Luca. This is our last world bridge. Especially since being at a one, no design. say i think i do love that sword on the back i'm a fan of swords in this game should be a fun character to use This is gonna be like the last game in the series. I think it's gonna have an end. But well, not like the other two didn't really have an end, but not one that you would expect. Okay, so the records of time. Phenomenal affirmation. Affirmation. The prologue. A chaotic encounter. Oh, just like we did Bayonetta 1 and 2, we're gonna do uh one chapter per episode we're gonna we're gonna do these two together but after that it's gonna be one chapter per episode oh let's go with the prologue chaotic encounter interesting uh chapter select menu
Let's hope they didn't. I hope they got rid of those cutscenes that were like freeze frame cutscenes. And they actually have like true cutscenes, like for everything. New York, Manhattan. Nice. Because they did spend a lot more time. Or, like, I'm not sure how much they spent on development. Bandit wanted to, but they spent what? Four? Five years on this game? Anyway. Nice. Sega, I believe Sega is still a part of this. Team Lonely Angels. I wonder what that's like. Um. Please, someone help me. Subcontractors. Oh, there's Bayonetta. Much better than those weird dresses in Bayonetta 2. Oh. Gosh, shit. And so still in hip, man. Loving it. Oh, she kind of does look old. Enzo, what was the weather forecast for today? What's the matter? Your glass is dirty? Not a cloud in the sky. Perfect day for a ball game. You know what that means, right? It means you found a way to drag me all over the city and turn my opening day ticket into toilet paper! Don't act like you don't hear me talking, huh? Huh? You know how much shit I had to go through for this thing? Oh! Ah! <laughs> no worries, Rick. Jesus! How about a heads up for... Ah! You have my deepest sympathies. But don't forget, it was you who agreed to do anything I asked in exchange for that job. Just because I said anything now, doesn't mean... let's be honest. Like she does it on purpose. Now where do you want to go? I've been driving around this city since the crack of dawn. And now this damn thing's throwing a temper tantrum. What the hell are you doing? I just got this baby yesterday. Less hot air, more gas. <sighs> now the voice actor does sound different, but close enough. I mean, it's a different person, so it's to be expected. Oh, there's Rodan. Storm's coming. Did he have all those face tattoos before? Everybody's getting screwed today. Me playing chauffeur, cause you gotta meet someone. So where are they? First the park, then the grocery store, and now you're saying you wanna try the pier. Hey, you even know where this mystery guest of yours is? What the holy shit! The hell you do that for? I guess we're there. when we uh, told them to wait at the, the base of Mount Bimbledon. Ooh, fancy party. I guess they might, her hair design in this one, much better than the other two. 
Well, I gotta see Jean. <laughs> see what she looks like. If she's even in this game. Platinum can can help themselves with ugly dresses. Does that even count? <laughs> Someone else got it before you. Same shit with her every time, but she still gets me by the short and curlies. come from the hell is that not hmm. again light from on high just means more holy bullshit oh, we can actually see it this time though what the uh, a girl who the where the hell did she come from you know this kid looks kind of familiar. Whoa! Hey! Please, take me to her. Do I look like a damn taxi driver? You mean me! Oh, oh, her, oh! Theo! Whoa! A... Oh, yeah, this? Oh, this? This is just what I needed. I hope Enzo's more in this game than. Just the beginning and the end, like the other two games. Whoa. Came out of nowhere. Oh, I'm sure they'll believe you. right there man I definitely can't have nice things get lost Enzo can't have you die before I get my dough Kind of a weird choice for designs on Rodan, but all right. I swear he didn't have all those face tattoos before. New town, huh? And here's a friendly hello. We're actually fighting with Rodan. I didn't really pay attention to the cutscene too well, or the the Nintendo Direct trailer. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure it's the same guns, but what kind of colors. Stratus, light humanoid, generic model, module. Really quick. Well, let's see what expert does and how difficult expert is in this uh, in this one. I'd imagine it's like hard. All the other games. 
Let's hope it's not a uh, infinite climax. I thought she had clothes under that. Got rid of her other clothes? Just keep her normal guns on her. If you're gonna carry guns, you might as well carry the good ones. Alright, cool. Now we can see how I'm guessing the buttons are the same. Oh great, already getting hit. No combo off that. Interesting. Maybe that's that's a combo in other games. Oh nope, no we well, I guess we can't do wicked weaves, right? Without our guns. Nope. Just straight up normal attack I guess. Oh, which time doesn't seem to last as long. It's not in all cases. It's not, I don't know where it is. This one lasted way longer. I wonder if it lasts longer if you're like, in, if you actually do a combo. Well, it adds time, you're right. Or, I'm right. So who I'm talking to. Yeah, it seems like you can keep that witch time going. It's probably a limit. But it seems like it's adding time the more you hit people. Oh, it did a lot of damage already. I guess it's fine. I'm sure we're gonna die a couple times. We are an expert. More cheap toys. Where'd you go, Rodan? Can I get my weapons now? There he is. Put right in the water. Those gotta come in hot. Getting a little too hot in the kitchen? Just give me my order before I lose my cool. Yeah. Order up! Ooh, interesting. Are they different kind of weapons? They almost look like little cannons. They also had like three other boxes. Ooh, oh, three barrels. One more barrel than usual, I think. Alright, let's see if we can do our wicked weaves with this. That Bayonetta? Could she actually transform into uh, Madam Butterfly? Beautiful. 
wonder what else is in those boxes. There sure matters enough for him to do all this. Yep. Not just pizzas in there. Oh, it's four. Actually. Oh, maybe it was pizza. Just hope you can keep up. Seems like these guys are built different. Locus heavily heavy humanoid combat unit. More new faces, I see. Then perhaps a bit of fancy dress is in order. Looks like she's learned some new skills. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, we got a full health. Nice. Looks like we got our wicked weave. We're also transforming. Oh, nice. I, you know, some of these colors kind of remind me of Astral Chain. I believe this thing. Wait, what happened to all my HP? I had like, full, I had like a full bar of HP. Wow, I'm really taking a lot of damage from uh, this expert mode. I knew it was going to be difficult, but not this one. Clouds of erasure. Giant homunculi leave behind cloud-like nets in their wake that break down whatever it touches. Oh, uh, I don't know what that really means. Uh, break down and stuff. But uh, oh, geez. I was not thinking I died this fast. Hard to see. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I guess I just picked up some HP. I don't know how that happened. Oh. Alright, that's the first one. We took a whole bunch of damage, but whatever. We got the gold. We'll get used to these enemies. It'll that? take a little bit of time. Fight. Oh, it looks like whatever this thing is, is being made by people. <laughs> Heavenly unit, decisive unit, Columbus. And that that does not last that long. Especially hard to read with those complicated names. Couple more seconds would have helped. All right, let's see how this goes. Do I have some of my HP back? But I did pick up some HP. Oh, we did get some of our HP back. We're doing good so far. Got half its HP. He's almost dead. Surprise. Unless he has two phases. Oh, now it's over. That was actually a very easy fight. I don't think we even got hit. Which is not usually an issue, but I think you'd have that little HP. Ooh. Gamora, Devourer of the Divine. I guess we got him under control again. What's going on? Disobeying us again? A 
thing ain't from Paradiso. No sanctified seasoning means no deal. Better what? think fast, Bayonetta. I... Uh, storms are not worse than I thought. But our, our summoning can only eat angels and demons. I guess this is when I take control of them, right? dance part of it. You have to do the dance. Well, I'll be damned if it ain't the demon slave. That's one ancient art I thought was lost for good. I knew that boss was a little too easy. Those probably won't be that hard. I mean, Monster Smackdown. Oh, what's going on? Summoning and stop. Hold ZL. Summon and control Inferno. Demons. And release ZL to stop summoning. I have to hold it the whole time. Summoning drains magic power and ends when magic runs out. Infernal demons can be summoned again once. A set amount of magic power recovered. Moving demons. Move summoned infernos with L. Bayonet herself will be unable to move. Will be wary of uncom uncoming enemies. Ordering attack. Press punch, kick, gun. I don't know what the other one is. While summoning to make infernal demon attacks. Attack buried by demon and blood. Press ZR during Demon Slave to return the Infernal Demon instantly, with some exceptions for certain statuses. Oh, I got a tutorial. Nice. Right, so, oh, I guess I do have to hold that. Do it. But if I hold that, alright, so that's a bunch. Swipe and kick. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the gun, right? I guess the other one is jump. Fly. Jump gun. Do it. All right, and then I get you out of. What's the deal? Like, why even bother with that? Like, like I have to hold ZL or else he's gone, right? So what's the point of even being of you know ZR getting rid of? what R1 does. This is a grab. L1 does nothing. R1 does seem like a grab, but all right. I guess let's continue on. We've learned enough. Oh, I shouldn't have been right in the center there. Oh, I guess I got... That's interesting. Ooh. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, I just might imagine. Did no damage, did I? Or oh, was that a. I was paying attention. Was there a second bar there? Oh my god, I took one hit and that was half my HP bar. Things are not going well. Ooh. Died there. What's this gonna do this time? Why wouldn't he go after him at first? So many questions. Yeah, this is kind of like I feel like it's more difficult than the hard in Bayonetta 2, but probably not as far as infinite. 
But I think we'll stick with them for now. Oh, looks like we have more fights to come. I thought that was the end for this uh, chapter. So it looks like they can see them. Or they can, you know, normal people can see these things. What are they even here? Are we going to team up with the clear DCL? Hell and head. Teaming up. A lot of new interesting power. Well, there's Sean. I say so far, I do not like her hair design. Well, maybe. Maybe that's just a bad angle. You see her like up close, not moving so fast. I feel like they did try to make them look older. Like their faces just makes they make them makes them look older. Jean, we'll catch up later. Yeah, not so bad. I still think I'll give it to her on uh, for designing Planet Two, though. I wonder if we're still almost dead. She has the old guns. Oh no, we have full health. Very interesting. I wonder why. Doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Feel like a hit. He's gonna jump back down on us. What was that? What she, I don't know what she's saying. When I summoned him. Is that all I can do with the magic? Oh, that's it? Already climaxing? Although the last boss that climaxed on him twice isn't as bad as that sounds. That might be the case on this one too. Oh great, she's not gonna die again, is she? How many times she had to save us? The Kraken. Best part of the sullen mob. It's actually an inferno. Can't fly? I mean, Bayonetta has wings. I guess Jean doesn't have Madame Butterfly. Ooh, and the boss. He tells me I can't get near that thing.
because we've got to deal with this. What else can we do? It is stunning him, and it's taking a chunk of his HP. So he's dead. Oh. That's sick like bar. Oh, you can tell since they're pretty much the same color. Oh, that knocks me back, nice. I guess we'll just keep going with this. Okay, that's gotta be the last HP bar, right? There's nothing else under that. Unless another one just pops up out of nowhere. Did I just summon a vessel? Is that, is that what just went on right there? Also, it looks like my magic comes back on its own. Pretty quick. And for some reason, we're getting HP back between fights. We started off with what? Full HP? Pretty much on every boss fight. Kind of strange. Usually they don't do stuff like that, but. But since we're doing the prologue, we go a little easy on you. I don't know. I mean, but we are playing an expert, so it kind of makes no sense. Adam Butterfly, Mistress of Atrocity. She works well everywhere. Flying in the air, on land, underwater. This has got to be a KO for this thing. dead wow oh we got the gold because we took so much damage three gold all right oh it does say i'm still playing dragon quest hey thank you man yeah, i'll fix that right now got to change that Unfortunately. How's the sound? Voice dialogue good, mic and all that stuff. Made some mistakes on the Dragon Quest uh, streams like like two days ago. Good Samaritan, Rodan. How dreadfully noble. We gotta talk. Preferably someplace a little quieter. Looks like yep, that looks like the end of the chapter. <laughs> Alright, so that's it with the prologue. How much did we get for that? Audio's good. good. Yeah, I screwed up with the audio in Dragon Quest 11 a couple days ago and I forgot to record the game audio. Like, there's like three and a half episodes with no game audio. Kind of annoying. Alright then. So I think with that, we are done with the records of time, done with the prologue. What's that? The witch piece? What does that mean? I guess those are like achievements. Haunt an enemy, avoid Kraken's ink, finish the deck battle without, an, without touching clouds of erasure. Use Gamora's gripping bite on the Omulon Abyss. I... Back with hard names I can't pronounce. Attack Kraken Anchor Tentacles with Gamora five times. I'm assuming we didn't get any of them. Or else they'd probably be lit up or something. I don't know. 
But anyways, that's it for chapter, or I guess the prologue. In the next episode, we'll do chapter one. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and have a good day.